shamed Prince Andrew won't be involved in any future royal events if Prince Charles and William get their way, a leading royal expert suggests. The Duke of York has been accused by his fellow royals of worming his way back into the limelight by manipulating his position, sources have claimed. He had been expected to keep a low profile but left commentators stunned when he took center stage on Tuesday as he accompanied the Queen to Prince Philip's memorial service. Disgraced Andrew clung to the arm of his 95-year-old mother, before escorting her to her chair at Westminster Abbey. Andrew reportedly paid off his accuser Virginia Jufri £12 million in a settlement that was not an admission of guilt just three weeks ago. The Duke has always strenuously denied Ms. Jufri's allegations. Prince Andrew took the Queen to her chair at Prince Philip's memorial service, creating headlines around the world, image, PA. Critics saw the move as a brazen attempt by the 62-year-old Duke to slide back into the spotlight following the sex scandal. It has been suggested that her so-called favorite son tested the water and saw it as a springboard to be given the green light to appear at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this summer. That will not happen, according to respected royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. In fact, he says there is just no way Prince Charles and William would accept Andrew playing any part in the celebrations. Charles and William won't accept Andrew being involved in future royal events, one expert says, image, Getty Images. He told The Mirror. In terms of royal events, I don't expect we will see Prince Andrew appear in the near future, if ever again. He won't play any kind of a role in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, of that I think we can be quite sure. Prince Charles and William will be totally opposed to it, it's a non-starter. I do believe what we saw at Westminster Abbey was the Queen allowing him to physically supporting her after she supported him. The service marked Andrew's first public appearance at a royal event since settling his civil sex case, Image, Getty Images. It was an event he was always going to attend, let's not forget, he has lost his father. Andrew being embroiled in the scandal is likely to kill off any chance of seeing his daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie serve as full-time working royals, the expert says. While the royal family will be slimmed down once Charles takes to the throne, there is a gap, but that won't be filled by the pair, he claims. Charles and Andrew spoke at the service on Tuesday, Image, Getty Images. Beatrice has previously been employed by the Foreign Office and Sony Pictures. She later took on a role as Vice President of Strategic Partnerships within software company Affinity. Her younger sister Eugenie, meanwhile, is associate director of London Art Gallery Hausa. Both women also work privately with charitable organizations, which including the Teenage Cancer Trust and Anti-Slavery International. Prince Andrew may make shock appearance at Queen's Platinum Jubilee service. Queen's complex relationship with Prince Andrew, blind spot, party row and criticism. Mr. Fitzwilliam said, we hear talk of the slimmed-down monarchy but there are tremendous advantages, especially for royals involved with charity. Would they want to? I am not sure they would. They are both happy, have families and also have a good work, life balance. I think, regardless, their names are automatically linked to their father. It's unavoidable. Princess Beatrice broke down in tears during the service and was seen covering her face with an order of service before reaching into her handbag for a the family were pictured all together for the first time since the accusations, image, Pixel 8000. Get all the royal gossip and stories you want straight to your inbox. Sign up to one of the Mirror's newsletters. According to body language expert Judy James, Beatrice's shocking reaction to seeing her father and grandmother was markedly different to that of her younger sister Princess Eugenie. Judy told the Mirror, we saw how Beatrice became overwhelmed by tears after her father arrived with his mother and the Queen had taken her place in front of her, but Beatrice's response as he first honed into view was equally shocking and more than a little puzzling. As the Queen and Andrew first walked level with the royals, Eugenie did appear to glance at an angle that meant she could see her father in her peripheral vision. After spotting him though she appeared to turn her gaze forward. Beatrice, however, seemed to already have her face hidden by her order of service. She performed this total face covering, shielding ritual after her.
Tears once the queen and her father were in position, but hiding her face as they walked in would have sent out a very complicated message. For everyone aware of the sister's tendency to loyalty this would have been seen as hiding tears of relief and joy at what looked like his reappearance in public but when we face hide we can also suggest shame, making this a risky public gesture. When we next saw Beatrice she seemed to have been sucking her thumb in what could have been a bid to self-comfort and avoid more tears. But they came. Anyway and Edo turned his head to watch with a caring, parental-looking smile as she searched for a hanky and face hid. Read more. Andrew was due to sit with daughters at Philip Memorial but made last-minute change. Read more. Royal fury at Prince Andrew's completely inappropriate move after Philip's death.